It's a cold, windy day here at the State House, but for some Troy University students that came out and braved the conditions, they hope it brings a wind of change for funding public universities. Creativity was alive and well tonight as children and Greek organizations got to dress up in costumes. I've seen everything from giraffes to, well, pineapples. When asked what their favorite costume tonight was, the attendees had a variety of answers. Having traveled to all 48 continental U.S. states and over 30 countries, Mr. McCall says he wants to share his passion for traveling with his students. And with Troy University having so many cultures represented on campus, it's the perfect place to start. And if you're one of those still racking your brain for a date night idea, one organization says they have the perfect opportunity for those college students on a tight budget, a chance to win dinner and movie tickets for only $3. April 19th, 2016 has not been just another Tuesday. Instead, today has gone down in Alabama history as a day dedicated to Alabama native and NFL star DeMarcus Ware. This recognition of Super Bowl champion Ware has been declared by Governor Robert Bentley, formally proclaiming today for all of Alabama, DeMarcus Ware Day. Uh, this, is a, this is really a, a very exciting day uh, for the state of Alabama, for Troy University. Not only was Ware recognized as a resident of Alabama, he was commended as an outstanding Troy University alumnus. Today is a great day because we could not have a better ambassador and a better person representing Troy University, a great university that's doing great things in this state. And every time you watch a ball game with the Denver Bronx, they say, DeMarcus Ware at Troy University. That makes my heart pound, and I hope it does every other Trojan who is out there. You know, I, I, all of us are so blessed to know so many winners in life and you'd look far and wide before you'd find a, a better person. He's a great football player, but he's a greater man. And so I, I want to say to DeMarcus how proud we are of him. Ware has had a legendary career in the NFL and today at the Capitol, he attributed his success to his humble beginnings right here in Alabama. They say it takes a village to raise a man. And as a father, I see the importance of the village in my own children. These accomplishments wouldn't be, they wouldn't be possible at all if I didn't encounter the people in my own village. DeMarcus Ware Day celebrations will not end here. They will continue well into the evening at Trojan Arena as Ware will be presented Troy University's 15th Distinguished Leader Award. In Montgomery, Devereaux Bogart, Troy, Trojan Vision News. A parade, music blaring, people cheering and chanting are all ingredients for a rally. And that's exactly what happened Thursday afternoon on the State House steps as Troy students were some of the hundreds gathered contesting for Higher Education Day. So today is Higher Education Day, which is where university students from across the state of Alabama come and we uh, rally for more money for higher education. I think it's very important for all of us to come out because it, um, it not only affects one person, but it affects all of us, all the public universities of Alabama. So if we want our voices heard, then we have to come out here and talk about it. It's a cold, windy day here at the State House, but for some Troy University students that came out and braved the conditions, they hope it brings a wind of change for funding public universities. I really want legislators today to realize just how important higher education is. Uh, so many people kind of put it on the back burner and don't really realize what higher education does. But later on today you'll hear more statistics and you see statistics here uh, actually at the actual rally that really talk about the impact that higher education has on the state of Alabama and the United States as a whole. We're definitely doing our part with communicating and I think that our legislature should be out here and communicating with us and really have an understanding of really what we want and uh, that we are students that have needs. Troy University SGA President Heath Barton spoke on behalf of acquiring more financial support for secondary education while Alabama Public University students chanted the words one-third again and again lobbying to the legislature inside for more money. I just want them to hear our voices, let them know that um, you know we're very serious about wanting this one-third um, funding from them. Right now it's at 12 percent so that we need 33 uh, percent of the education trust fund. Troy University was among 14 public universities represented at Higher Education Day. In Montgomery, Deborah Bogart, Troy, Trojan Vision News.
This past year, the nation celebrated a major anniversary of a defining moment in the civil rights movement. And this week, the Troy University Rosa Parks Library and Museum is celebrating an influential woman who helped bring about this change. February 4th, the Montgomery Museum will celebrate what would be Parks' 103rd birthday. Scheduler of Rosa Parks Museum Donna Beasel says they have a full day of events planned open to the public. The biggest thing is we have free admission for everybody to both the children's wing and the main wing that day. Um, we're also handing out birthday cake as long as it's available. Um, there are going to be students from Bill and Breath School, um, Middle School, which is an area of middle school, um, who are going to be singing here in the foyer. And then we are having a one-woman show from a student at Troy who is doing a Rosa Parks show down in our auditorium. Well, this isn't the first year that the Rosa Parks Museum has celebrated her birthday. They have revamped the event in hoping to get more community involvement. The last several years, they haven't really done much community involvement as far as getting the community involved and celebrating and honoring her. So that's something that we've tried to do this year with the Troy community as well as the, the Montgomery community. Beasel hopes that this is just the beginning of the community being involved in the celebration and that in the future years it will continue to expand. We want to continue with the community involvement and expand that to get more because this year it's really just the one school that we're working with but to try to get at least all the middle schools involved. Um, seventh grade is when they do history or uh, civics I'm sorry and cover the civil rights movement so we really like to get those seventh graders more involved with things that go on but also to just get families more involved from from the community. The museum will be open for free tours on Thursday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. In Montgomery, I'm Deborah Bogart, Troy, Trojan Vision News. September 24th was not just another Thursday for some Troy University students. Instead, it was a celebration of their life and culture. Although Saudi National Day was observed on Wednesday, Troy University's Saudi Association used Thursday to honor their national holiday by sharing their heritage with others. We want to we want to tell the people that about our culture. We want to tell them about what we have in Saudi Arabia. Uh, there are many Americans here that don't know where is Saudi Arabia. So we want to tell people and tell the world we here and we have really good stuff. One Troy University student says she really enjoyed seeing other students go out of their comfort zone and experience a new way of life. I think my favorite part about today has just been seeing everyone that I know come out and really just support the event. It's been cool to see students not afraid to put on the traditional garments and try the tea and try the dates. And I think it just says so much about us that we're able to come together and just like show our respect and be interested in, um, about another culture. At the tent, visitors were able to get their name written in Arabic and get a little taste of Saudi Arabian culture. I tried the tea. It was really good. I'm addicted to coffee and tea, so I really enjoyed Enjoyed trying something new. Yeah, I tried their coffee and it actually was kind of like a tea, so that was interesting. I wasn't expecting that, so yeah, it was delicious though. Al Mutari said this year's event was a tremendous success, and with the number of Saudi Arabian students attending Troy University steadily increasing, he hopes the success will continue. Till now, we have more than like 250, I would say 300, and this is just the first two hours of the of the of the event. So perhaps for today we're going to have at least like 500 students, which is really good number. Deborah Bogart, Troy Trojan Vision News. Neck ache, back ache, stressed about finals? Some Troy University students say not anymore, and Troy University's Activities Council had a hand in it. President of UAC, Khadija Torbert, says they had students' stress level in mind when they hosted Thursday's event, Massage Parlor. And we just kind of wanted to bring the massage parlor and the street signs here for Troy University because it's about to be finals week, Thanksgiving break is a pregnancy. We just want to relieve the stress of the students. What um, the massage parlor is doing, they're like massaging like the neck, the head, the temple, shoulders, back, and it's just to create an ease right before Thanksgiving break. And no problem area was too big of a problem for them. You just let them know beforehand whether it's your shoulders or lower back and they'll be sure to spend a few extra minutes on it. It was great. I needed it. I got a bad shoulder and a bad back, so it felt good to get it all released. Probably like my neck. They're just going to dig into that spot really well. I did, and she worked them all out for me. She got all the knots out. It was great. 
And while waiting their turn, students had the option of getting a free vinyl decal with the message of their choice. Some students designated a street to themselves, others got their Instagram names, nicknames, or their favorite sports teams. It's a red sign that you can get personalized, you can get your name, you can get your on it, whatever you want, you just customize it to you. This was Troy University's Activities Council, last event for this semester. Deborah Bogart, Troy, Trojan Vision News.